Now you could do this farm by doing the good old backstab. You could do it by using rapport, or you could do it the completely awesome way and one-shot them. Now, in order to do the one-shotting, you'll need a few items. The first item that you'll need is a two-hitting repulse weapon. So I use the Fume Ultra Greatsword. The second item you'll need is a white haired talisman. And probably the most important item is the actual spell that you'll be using, and that's Sacred Flame. After you have all those items, equip the two hitting repose weapon in your right hand, the talisman in your left hand, and then two hand that talisman. I use Aldrich's Ruby to recover some HP after I use Sacred Flame. Then I use both the Covetous Rings and the Sun Princess Ring to make that symbol of Arvice not quite as powerful. And then of course I have the Shield of Want, but another thing that I haven't really seen anybody else use is this staff, and this staff gives you more souls. You can farm it from these guys at the Arch Dragon Peak. You'll start off at the Grand Archives Bonfire. Take a slight right and go up this elevator. Once at the top, run back over the button to save you time in the future. And here's where the farm begins. So the way I do it is I just run forward a little bit to make them drop down, and then I take a left right here. And this is when I equip the symbol of Arvice. And then right after they die, I switch to the Shield of Want and that staff, and I get 67,000 souls. After I kill him, I move on to this guy. And again, I switch to the Shield of Want and that staff. Now you just have to track this guy down a little bit and do the same thing. And that's it. It's that easy. You can do this as many times as you want and you can get tons of souls. It's by far the best soul farm in the game as of right now. Anyways, I hope that this helps you out and thank you for watching the video.